Hey guys, it's Matthew Richardi here for College Kitchen, and today we're hitting up to the Clover Food Truck in Kendall Square. We're gonna get our hands on a chickpea fritter sandwich, and after we're done with lunch, we're gonna head back to the kitchen and make a mean falafel with our friend Roger Roulette. So come along as we check it out. Clover Food Trucks have been offering a fast food lunchtime alternative for over two years now. Now I'm not rich, I don't know about you, but I'm not rich. But that's okay, because Clover's not gonna run our pockets. Sandwiches start here at about five bucks. And I'm willing to pay five dollars if I know it's gonna get me good food. You gotta keep in mind that Clover gets their ingredients from local farms and local markets. So there's nothing fake about what they're making here. I'm here with the executive chef of Clover Food Truck, Rolando Robledo. Thank you for joining us. Oh, no I appreciate that. You know, as the executive chef, I'm assuming you decide what goes on the menu and stuff like that. And, and where do you come up with your inspiration for the dishes? Basically, I go to the market every single week. And, okay. You know, sometimes several times a week, and I see what what's there, and I right. see what's interesting to me. That really is what gives me the creativity to um, put what's on the menu, whether, whether it be a salad, whether it be a, a new sandwich, but also our drinks. Our drinks yeah. are all made. Right Right on the truck. Can I get the uh, chickpea fritter sandwich, um, the hibiscus iced tea, and then just a, a side of fries, please? Okay. All right. And it's Matthew. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. As a carnivore. I was skeptical trying this place out, but I was walking by and heard good things. I went with the chickpea sandwich and rosemary fries. At only five dollars, I was very satisfied. Thank you very much. You too. The idea behind Clover comes from people who actually care about their customers. Clover shows a blatant interest in the people who come here. And if you're a complainer, that's totally fine because they'll get back to you, they'll answer questions, and they'll deal with any bone that you have to pick with them. You can find out more on Clover's blog at cloverfoodlab.com. There's a lot of great stuff on there and you'll really feel connected to the people behind Clover. My only complaint with Clover is that sometimes they close and that they aren't next to my house. Can you tell me more about the, uh, the fast food location that's soon to open in Harvard Square? Originally, the idea of our food trucks were to develop a menu so that we can open up a lot, open up a lot of restaurants. We're making progress on our, okay. uh, on our Seven Holyoke uh, location. Okay, Seven okay. Seven Holyoke in Harvard Square, and um, that's, that's progressing. So you are gonna keep these trucks at the same time? Yes. So yes. your essential plan is to take over Boston Pretty entirely. Much. I mean, because that, that's what will happen. That's what we're working on. Nope. Nope. I had forgotten my lunch at home and I was starving. It was 11.15 a.m., so a bit too early for most places. I dashed off to the Clover food truck and ordered a barbecue Satan. What a cataclysmic sandwich event. Instantly, my day improved by 500%. The sandwich was perfect, hot, a nice tangy barbecue sauce, crispy lettuce, fresh tomato, and a feel-good bread. Just gorgeous. That sandwich converted me. People work. We all work. We're hard workers. But people play. You know, people love to play. So what are a few things that you do uh, for fun when you're not at work. Uh, my, my favorite thing in the world to do is, is just hit the basketball court. And okay. Play some hoops. All right. Yeah. All right. Round three. Yeah. I love doing that. I love uh, going for a swim. Okay. Uh, I you know I spend a lot of time with my kids. I have three young boys. Oh so, wow. So uh, right when I walk in the door, you're man, a busy they, man. They they, they, they they wrestle me. They, yeah. they, they, all, they all tag team on me, man. Yeah. No, so. I hear you. Well, Rolando, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I appreciate your time. It's been a pleasure talking thank to you. Thank you. 
You don't have to be a pro, a master chef, you don't have to be Rolando in order to make food as good as the kind you can get at the Clover food truck. So how about you come with us back to the kitchen as we make our own version of their chickpea fritter sandwich.